Hello there and welcome to the Netherlands. It's the European Championship. It is quite the wonderful day here. It's ladies semi-final time. Where we are in for an absolute treat. It's the home team. Madeleine Mepelink and Sanna Kaiser up against the Czech Republic. Barbara Hermanova and Marketa Slakova. We have got some game on our hands here. These two have met earlier on in this competition. The Dutch seeded 15, came through that one fairly easy, but this one will be a completely different game. The European Championships in Zuda Park. The Hague, renowned as a popular beach volleyball destination. Hermanova and Slakova, well, they beat Russia last night here in The Hague. Belova and Yukolova fairly comfortably 2 0 to make their way into the semi final. They're an experienced team now. We took a silver in the European Championships in Biel in 2016. They'll be looking to go one better here. Kaiser and Mepelink. Kaiser wearing number one, Mepelink, the blocker, wearing two. They both won this competition before, both playing with a different partner. That partner being Marlene Van Erzel, a legend of the Dutch game. Mepelink just working on her foot speed, serving and running through to the net. Something that will be very key in her team's success will be her speed to the net once she's served. That's why she's working through it. Kaiser won this competition in 2012, right here in the Hague. Kaiser played with Dan Erzl. They're in your screen. Sana Kaiser in London 2012, losing to Misty May and Kerry Walsh Jennings on that occasion. The crowd. They love their beach volleyball after the success of the World Championships in 2015. The legacy lives on now with the European Championships. Madeleine Mepelink wearing number two. She's played for such a long time now, played with Sophie Van Gestel, won a Grand Slam in Argentina in 2013. Van Gestel did play this week with Veselink, but officially, they're in international retirement. Apart from winning the European Championships with Van Erzel, Madeleine Mepelink has only ever won one other CV event. That's a European satellite in Antalya. Mepelink and Kaiser, they're a new team this year. Their best finish was a second in Turkey, but they've struggled in the higher events. The four stars, the five stars. They only took a 17th last week in Stad. Mepelink, one to watch, the lady in your screen right there. Spoke to her a little bit earlier. She feels experienced having been here before, but she felt it was a shame to leave Rotterdam. They had such fun there. She knows that this Czech team will be very, very difficult to play against. The Czech team, they've been together since 2015. They'll be looking to improve on that silver medal they won in 2016. The Czech team lost to Olympic and world champions Laura Ludwig and Kira Volkenhorst on that day. There's no Ludwig who's just had a baby and no Volkenhorst in this competition. This is a chance for them to go one better. The camera's still on Mepelink though. The crowd coming in to support the home team. The Czech team again. They're a team that took a 17th in Rio, but they've medaled four times together on this World Tour. Including the silver in a major series in Porridge. And that's no mean feat to get a silver medal in a major series. It's very impressive. And they also boast a gold medal at a European Masters. So although the home crowd and 
the head-to-head, -head, maybe in favour of the Dutch. Well, the Czech are some, some team. The Czech last one gold in the European Championships in 1998, when Eva Salbova and Sona Novakova beat the Netherlands of all teams in Athens. The Hague, well, it's a beautiful day, 23 degrees, the humidity rising as the day goes on. There is a bit of wind, though. And the wind will come from the left of your screen to the right when you see the main picture of the court. No surprise to see loads of orange in the crowd. We are almost ready for liftoff here in The Hague. 15th seeds, Mepelink and Kaiser, the home nation, but they've both won this competition before. They know what it takes to get across the line, but they haven't done it together. The Czech team, Hermanova and Slakova, looking to improve on the silver they achieved in the 2016 European Championships. The referees, Irina Agazeva from Russia, will be on the sand, watching the net, watching anything that goes on underneath it. You can see the mascot jamming out as well. It's time to meet the players. Barbara Hermanova, 27 years old now. Five foot 11 from Ostrava. But now lives in Prague. Her partner, Marketa Slakova, the 2010 FIVB World Rookie of the Year. And a silver medalist in the CV European Championships in 2016. But now the crowd are on their feet because the home favourites are about to be introduced. Firstly, the 33 year old, Sana Kaiser from Dorton Chimp. Now lives in The Hague where all the volleyball happens. 5 foot 11, Kaiser. And this team in their first year together. The slightly taller, the blocker, Madeline Mappelink, makes her way into the arena. 28 years old, living in The Hague as well. From Reynan. It's the second semi final. The winners will play Switzerland. Tanya Hubley and Nina Retschart await. The bronze medal game will have Lillian Elsa to fight with for bronze. Over with the serve, keeping it on Mepeling. She runs this little quick ball to the stick. as a fast knuckle. The Czech team are looking for the referee, maybe for a carry. It's a hand setting from Kaiser. She's on the fade. It looks completely fine. The ball wasn't perfect in the set, but Mepeling does well to just find the space. with the serve, deciding to whip a jump serve. And the wind here is pretty swirly. It's blowing across left to right, so into the face of the Czech team serving. Again, two knuckles on the cut, score early on. Just a very gusty wind here. It's actually getting up quite a lot. Whenever the ball's tight to the net, the knuckles will come into play. Serving from the center. Trying to find the sideline, 
Metalink, but it just drifts into the platform. Both teams opting to shoot the ball early on here. The higher this ball goes, the more the wind's going to affect it. The ball's very... Uh, sorry, the weather conditions very blustering from the commentary position. We are outside, so you can feel it right the way across us. Everything's starting to blow here. That's why... It's been a change of serve from the Czech team because the wind's really blowing into their face at the moment. So you'll see when the wind's blowing into your face, you can feel it a lot here. You choose to put spin on the ball and make the ball dip. Guys are not choosing to serve with that float serve. That's two missed serves in a row from Kaiser early on. That's not what they would have wanted. But we're still tied at three. It's not been the most exciting start to this one, but there's a long way to go. Jump close serve. Nepalink again, loves running to the pin. It's another knuckle, two in a row. They're choosing to break on the pass here by the looks of it from Herman over. She breaks really early, thinking that that set's not going to be tight. She would have stayed. She would have caused more problems for sure. Everything know that she's broke, so she can just knuckle that short one all day long and score. Want to hold later in the block. Czech Republic. Another miss serve. That's three that I've counted. Mepelink going to have a little talk to the referee. Spoke to Mepelink a little bit earlier. Feels happy. They feel that they're experienced. But that's... The start doesn't show that, really. Three missed serves. And one kill from the Czech team. It's better. Kova. Very good. She's improved so much throughout her career. And Leva does well to react to that ball in the block as well. I think again going to the pin. Tries to can an angle. Free net for Slokova and she can't take advantage of it. That's frustrating for Slokova. Pay attention to Mepelink always running this wide ball to the pin. That's an absolute shuttering blow from Slakova. Almost bringing the net down with her. Five all. Dutch growing into this one a little bit. Through the middle, Herman over. Ball goes deep, well tracked from Herman over again this time. From the right go, side, go, go, go. the set's way off the net, so she has to play a little bit of standing shot, but the crowd is starting to oh, yeah. heat up here yeah. as Holland are this fighting for everything. Ball. Not the finest rally we will see, but it's a very good one. For the Czechs. Kaiser, the service target for the first time in this game. She has a little yeah. lurk and... So powerful. Sani Kaiser. Passes into a good area in the centre. Her arm just comes through her body into her left hand pocket. It's a nice arm. Trying to serve in here, the Dutch, so they're having to work harder. Just look over, only chips line, but Kaiser is completely equal to it. Kaiser now sat on the angle. She's looking for that cut shot, but Mepelink jumps back to the line late with her block. Does so well. Now it's Kaiser's turn to do her work for the team, and she does it so well. Sit still. She reads the wrist of the attacker nicely. It drops short, but she gets her shoulders 
underneath the ball. It's a calm set from Mepelink. No complacency from Kaiser in offense either. This one is starting to gain a bit of pace. Late break on an angle. Lovely swing to the line. They're breaking late here, Mepelink and Kaiser. They're trying to hold their defensive position and then change it last minute. That's why Kaiser's not sat on the line because they're playing defense for a shot from Slokova. If they go early, they're trying to defend something that's gonna come really, really hard. If they go late, they're looking to try and play defense on the shot of the spiker. Good swing from Slokova. Two ball, Slokova reads it all day long though, and then chips away. Kaiser is seeing it so nicely. Such good work from both teams. This is going to have everything. Mepeling jumps back into the cross court. She's taking the cross court. Kaiser runs down the line late. Points to Netherlands. See here, she jumps across the net. Mepeling taking the cross court away from Slakova. Another service error. I count four so far. It's a good decision from Kaiser. She has a good look through the net. You can see just at the bottom of the jump and on the way up, she's looking at the court. Just here. She knows there's a big gap deep middle, but she's just a little bit underneath it. it means her arm can't come through it, so she can't direct the ball downwards. Good serving again, it's deep in these windy conditions. Two missed side outs in a row from Kaiser. She calls a timeout, her and Meppling sort of look at each other. Because it sort of storms to the chairs. The crowd have gone uncharacteristically quiet here. The timeout's being used for Holland. They're only allowed one each. They're out to set. There's a te technical timeout at 21 as well. Strange service this from Slokova. She starts well out of the sideline before drifting in. It's a wider set. And maybe that's what they looked at. There's phenomenal blocking from Hermanova. She really does seal the line so nicely. It's a much wider set from Mepelink. And that's trying to get the ball into the hitting window. The two before from Kaiser. She couldn't access the line at all. They set her wider. She can access the line, but Hermanova is waiting for it. Poor serving this time. Relief would be one way to describe the feeling for the Dutch at the moment. A quick wipe of the glasses from Herman Over. And a slowdown of the play. Herman Over. I mean, she's underneath the ball, so she can't hit the ball with full power. Kaiser with a free net, ship it away, she does. Better! from the Dutch. Slightly out of system there, Herman over. She's underneath the ball, so the ball has to go up to come down by so much time for Kaiser. They break the block far too early. Punished. They need to hang in there, Holland. They will have their opportunities, that's for sure.
We gaan gewoon een applaus voor Jackie Pollock en natuurlijk een applaus voor Team Nederland. Dutch have missed too many serves early on in this one. But they're pulling on the jerseys of the opposition. They will not let this Czech team get away from them, especially at home in front of a home crowd. Herman over this time from the middle. Yeah! Some swing. On that angle, it's hard to work the ball back to the line. We'll have a better view here. She's well inside, but she just works the ball off her body, guides the ball back to the line. Difficult swing from Hermanova, very nicely done. Wider set again from Kaiser. She struggled to side up, and that's how she does start to access the line. She's a little bit further off the net again, which is going to help. The closer you are to the net, the more the block comes into the game. Last time, Hermanova took the point. This time, she's slightly more off. She swings high, she goes off the hands. Great job from Sarnet Kaiser. Now their serving has to work as well. Poor again from the service line. High risk for high reward, but it's not rewarding them so far. Shake it ahead explains it all. Wide set knuckle line, and when you run the wide set, the defender has to sit round more on the sharp angle, which is exactly what happens here. Zakova sits round on a sharper angle because the balls come wider. That also means that you can play that short knuckle shot. If you watch the men's game, it's something that Alisson does a lot for Brazil. Yeah. Up and down yeah. set. It's a late break and it's a fantastic swing. She can't hit angle there, Slakova, unless she turns her body. But what she can do is fire the line. And Mepelink is in this team to block, which means that she's not as quick getting off the net. Great swing, Slakova. Let's see if the Dutch choose to play slightly wider again. It's a set that the Australians brought into the game, but now so many teams use it. They do go wide for Kaiser. And she's accessing more angles when the ball is wider at the pin. When she's played on an up and down set, she's struggling to bring the line into the game. At least here, we've seen her hit line and we've seen her hit seam as well. Seam's the center of the court. It's a great, great swing. Deep Herman over again. Has to take a back set in here. Yeah. She goes back to her line. She didn't really have any other options. Kaiser might have seen that, might have not, but as soon as that body turns, almost overturns towards the sideline, it's very difficult to chop the ball back angle. Enough to score though. Two point game. Completely different game than the one that yeah. happened in Rotterdam earlier this week. Mepelink knows she needed a side out. She goes back to a steady up and down ball. She drives her feet through it. Cannon's angle. She's gone to the line a lot or to the seam when the ball's been wider. But this time she does get back to the sharp cross. Through the middle this time, Slick over. And they're trying. It's a deliberate ploy. Make Mepelink break. Hit her on the way back. Try and beat her for speed. Stop her from being still. Hit her high. It's working. Another misserve. This time from the Czech team. Serving has been costly for the Netherlands here. Kaiser, this time serving from the center. It's another miss serve. So far, count between five or six within this first set, and it's a two-point game. Okay, high risk for high reward, but you cannot afford to miss so many serves. But what you'd think is at least, even if they do lose this first set, which they might not, you won't expect them to miss as many serves in the second, surely. Oh. 
Meppeling, another one goes out the back. This is not good enough from Holland. They're missing so many serves. The only benefit to this is that Stokova and Hermanova cannot find much rhythm in their side out either, but their serving has not been good enough. She's gone line with that wide set. She's gone seam with that wide set. Now we see a snap one back angle. Three different swings in three different side outs, and they've all been successful from Sana Kaiser. Herman over and Slikova. Well, Slikova's played in two Olympic games. Kaiser just at 2012. Mepelink. 2012 and 2016. That's better. From the Netherlands. An ace instead of an error. It's a jump serve. Using the wind, making it dip at the last possible minute. And we're tied at 18s again. It's time to serves right in the comfort zone of Herman Over. He goes jumbo, but it's well seen. Also, that's extremely well seen from Slakova. No block, and it's a steep, steep swing. They're looking for a hand over or a net touch, but Mepelink is throwing her toys well and truly out the pram here. I don't know what she's got to argue about, but it's a free net for Slakova, and they probably shouldn't have left it for her anyway. Probably should have kept the block up. Mepelink is still kicking off here. Still super unhappy with that decision. The argument is maybe she should have stayed up and blocked. She would have taken the point for the Netherlands anyway. Jolty stiff platform, but they're in system. Great roll to the line from Kaiser, who keeps her cool even when Mepelink doesn't. Off the net. Squeezed. Mepelink gave Herman over an inch down that line. And she took all of it. A little bit maybe in too far inside from Mepelink, but she's trying to stay tight and channel the ball to the defender. Anyway, first set point to the Czech team. They've not served tough enough here, the Dutch but they have sided out when they need to. Mepelink with a robust super swing down the seam. Crushing blow. One set point saved. We're going to overtime. We've seen an ace from this top spin jump serve from Kaiser, but yet it's another miss serve. Maybe eight miss serves in this set from Holland, and that's unacceptable. You have to serve tough, but you have to also serve in. Look over, second set points, a net band tickler. It's a wide set to the outside that's missed by Mepelink. The Dutch go straight to their chairs. And it's the Czech team, the number two seeds, that take the first set here in The Hague. It's been inconsistent from Kaiser and Mepelink. It's been steady from Herman over and Slakova. And they win by two. Let's have a look at some highlights from what has been an entertaining first set here.
applause for the team of the dance crew. My understanding of Dutch is not too good, but I'd expect it would be something about serving, putting the other team under pressure from Leppelink and Kaiser, because this has not been good enough from them from the baseline. They had their chances, though, to be fair to them. Look over and Herman over. Take the first set here. After beating Nukolova and Belova from Russia last night in two, they'll be looking to do the same here. Kaiser again. She's been more successful siding out when that ball's gone a little bit flatter to the stick. By the stick, I mean the antenna, the red and white pin sticking up at the side of the net. She accesses everything. She works back to the line pretty well there. Sometimes it's a little bit low, her line shot, but she works every angle far nicer from the stick. Nice and smooth from Marketa Slokova. It's from the centre. She has a good look. She sees the defender. And that's something that all good players will see. When they look at the court, they're looking for the defender. The block can move late and be a little bit more secretive about it. The defender has to show you they're going a little earlier. 2-1. That one just wide. It's the one that she struggles to access at times, is that line ball. She loves hitting seam and angle. Eyes of the target yet again. It's another wide ball. She does, again, overcook that line. And the line ball for a right sider is the most important shot in the game, and it's something you have to show early. If you can hit the line, you can hit the whole court. If your shoulders face on an angle, it's really hard to access the line. Herman Over does that pretty well, actually, to be fair. Finally, the ball does go sort of to the line. A little bit inside the defender. The arm does come through the body every single time. She's a lot more comfortable with her heart, uh, sorry, her arm going through the ball. Just there, it's a snap of the wrist. It's like a draw across the body. She struggles with her hand going away from the body. But the service is better from Mepelink, and that's going to build confidence in the Dutch camp. They've served two in a row here, the Netherlands. That's better. And they've broken late because they break late to try and defend the shot and they have defended the shot. They set up early the checks to try and defend the hard hit, and they do so. And in the second time that Marki Slakova gets a chance to put the ball away, she does. Two completely different tactics. They're breaking off the net so late, the Dutch, because they think that Slakova is going to shoot the ball, be scared of the block and try and shoot around it. Whereas the Czechs are waiting for that hard hit. So they're just parking early. through the ball again. Oh. Mepelink up for this one. This time she just fades it, tickles the tape again. Mepelink much improved in this second set. Watch out. Another miss serve. Kaiser is really struggling out there. Potentially the most experienced player on court. Had such a great time playing with Van Erzel through that sort of 2009-2012 stage. Meppelink played with Van Gestel throughout the same time. They won a FIVB Grand Slam in Argentina around that time. Better feet, more aggressive. The heel really pushing through the sand. Just there, the heel pushes into the sand, it engages the glute, so it gets more height from the spiker. <laughs> set's too tight, so knuckle comes out from Herman over. But the set's a little tight as well. 
Metalink has to turn and try and create some space to try and turn back through the ball. That's exactly what she's doing here. But the ball just drifts across her, so she's going to come back to the line. That's a great line as well from Herman Over. No getting through. The winner of this game will be playing for a European Championship gold. Something that all four players on court have done. The Dutch have both won a European champs, not with each other, but Marlene van Erzel. The Czechs have not won one as of yet. This could be their year. And they're up against a tough Dutch team who's serving. It's coming back into here, and that's a nod, finally says Kaiser. She's missed her fair share, but she's starting to find her rhythm. Screams from the crowd. Herman over, passing to the centre. On you is the call. It's a break on the angle. It's a very smart shot to go short to the line. Kaiser's going to be second best to it because she's starting on the line. And then she's trying to sweep. Sorry, she's starting on the cross court. She's sweeping to the line. Great look from Herman over. They're setting up to try and get some defenses here. Looking for an ace, and she gets it. Back to one. Lady Luck on the side of the Czech team here. Wider set again to Mepelink. She loves it because the ball just comes right across her and she can pick. She can take it early and she can fire angle. She can take it late and go to the line. But great rhythm, fantastic setting from Kaiser. It's a much better Dutch performance in this set. Yes, the scores are tied, but they're just playing far smarter. She breaks, and this time she manages to hold so still. Attempted swap block from Herman over. Decides to go late. She knows that this isn't going to be a hard hit from the Netherlands, but she's just drifting. It's a smart shot all the same. She's drifting, and she's going to parry the ball into the antenna. Slightly out of system. Great swing. Great, great swing from Slakova. The ball's drifting across her in this hazy breeze. So there's no line open, really, because if her arm comes through to try and hit line, she's lost all her height. So she just stays on an angle. So accurate. Being accurate in your swing so important as a spiker. Aiming for the perimeter of the court. Net band. It's time for Holland. Jumping inside out. Really, Spiker, you want your body weight going through the ball, but they do play this wide set. The Netherlands, Kaiser. So at times that means that you will have to jump inside out. It's quite hard to get your body weight going inside the ball all the time. Better play this from Holland all the way around, but no matter what they throw at Herman over and Slok over here, they're equal to it. Another chance high off the block. She's hitting up on that one, and it's better from Kaiser. They lead by two. We're almost at technical timeouts. And they would love to be three up here. Huge point in the context of this one. Yeah! Technical timeout. Frustration for Kaiser. She throws sand at the floor because there's been too many missed serves. Lost count of how many times the Netherlands have missed a serve here. At the context of the game, it's the difference between 12-9 and 11-10. And that would be breathing space. 
for this Dutch team. Anyway, time for the dancers. Let's have a little look at the timeouts. Intriguing time of this game. The Dutch is showing signs of improvement, that's for sure, from this compared to the first set, but they're still making sloppy errors at times like, 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 off the like, net. Like, like, like. That's high quality beach volleyball because the set's off the net. So our options are limited there. Kaiser, and she still finds a sand. This time, slip over is off the net as well. The Gators out here in the Hague. But unfortunately for the Netherlands, the Gator can't keep the ball alive, so it's more of a dig in the end. 12-11, just edging away this one. Off the net, looks like can only come to the line here, they can. Slipova was equal to it, saw it very early. The touch was a little bit out though. Now Phil, that's an opportunity missed really. They managed to put pressure on with the serve. Get the Netherlands out of system, but they couldn't capitalize. On you, on the call again from Herman over. Yeah! She goes to the line. Very good. She found her way over the top of the block. It's a drop of the elbow, which isn't ideal. You want to try and sell the same picture every time. But you're going to hit that ball really hard. But it's so high. It's really quick high line. No defending that, no blocking it either. Meppling. Chance again. It's another high line from Herman over this time on the left side. Second chance. Kaiser works the ball to the baseline. Wonderful, accurate display here. Kaiser. Sokova saw it. She's in the right place, but the swing's too deep and too good. If you just keep working the perimeter of court in this game, you will not go far wrong. Miss serve this time from Eppelin. More of the same. Out of system here. Kaiser hitting from off the net yet again. Twice that we've seen when she's under pressure, she finds a solution. Sign of a world-class player. Off the net, the ball's drifting away. Slakova looks at Hermanova. Hermanova looks back at her partner. And really, Slakova should be all over that in defense. The longer this one goes on, the more it looks like we're going to three. Off the net again, Hermanova hitting from the middle. She has a little look, it's too tight, the block's right in the game. This time Slakova, she's tight and central. There's a net touch against somebody, and it's against Mepelink. You can feel the tension here in the arena. On the way down, just with the left leg. Ball goes wide to the stick. That's where Mepling is most comfortable. Playing slightly like an indoor player, but something the Australians brought into world volleyball. Running the ball to the pin, being aggressive, 
going through the ball. They break the line. It's great defense. They sit in the seam. Herman over and Slick over. They, they protect the middle of the court because they know it's not going to the angle because Meppelink doesn't get out far enough to show it, but the power is too much. Kaiser starting to fire up as well. Some game this one. The Netherlands, three points to the good. Kaiser is on fire here in The Hague. In defense, she's quick, she's sharp. She's agile enough, dynamic enough to get back out of the sand and put the ball away. Timeout called for the Czech Republic. The crowd here getting behind their team because they feel as if this could go to three now. It's Herman over and Slakova feeling the pressure. Really does enjoy hitting that ball from the middle, Herman over, and whipping it back to the line. It opens up the line for all day. It's her longest line. Jump back to the angle. the block defense, the Netherlands. Two point game, they really need to keep their side out together here, the team in orange. Chip line, well read from Slakova. She's made a great read at a great, great time. That's all Marky Slakova. She sees the body turn, she loves that wide ball meppling, but she shows that she goes to the line really early with it because her whole body starts to rotate to the line as well. Slakova chases that ball down. It's a great read, and it's a very, very good knuckle to the line. Passing on angle, more wide setting, stressing the blocker out. Fantastic from Kaiser as well. The ball's gone wide, and that really does open up that chop back to the sideline. It's not a cut shot by any means. It's one that's just whipped straight back across the heart of the court. Lovely stuff from both teams here. Out of system, Sakova and Herman over. The ball gets caught in the wind. It starts to drift everywhere. Herman over tries to judge it. She tries to track it here. But it's too little, too late here. Eyes on the ball forever. Need a side out here. It's the cover. Failed last time, failed this time. Meppelink closes her block so well and in turn almost sees the Netherlands home here. She jumps back to the line. They've used that tactic all the way through this game, jumping around in the block defense, trying to show Slakova something and then take it away from her at the last second. Set point for the Netherlands. Herman over, fires high, fires deep. It's a fantastic swing. Barbara Herman over the 27 year old. Keeps her team in this game. Crowd on their feet, second set point. The ball goes wide yet again for Meppelink, who goes to the line, but she gives that away early as well. So it's a good block 
from Herman Over. But yet again, Kaiser puts the ball away with a deep knuckle. We are going to three here again in the Hague. That wide ball constantly goes to the seam or to the line from Mepelink. They do well to cover the sand, though, the Netherlands, and the deep knuckle wins the set for the team in orange to the delight of the home fans. One one in this semi final. There's lots of highlights. Let's have a little look. Third and final set about to get underway. A race to 15 for a place in the gold medal match. All to play for here in the Netherlands. The home team, Mepelink and Kaiser, are improving fast. The number 15 seeds beat this Czech team, Herman over. Slakova earlier on in the week, but now we're tied at 1 1. Slakova this time hitting from the middle. She will probably be the service target for large proportions of this last game. They choose to go to the line. The, bro the block has been broken. Great defense. Hermanova, Slakova get a point on the board. Throws an arm at it. And that's just great. It's great decision making. Here it is a good look at the court from Slakova as well. To go on two to play a faster attack. Excellent work. Wide setting again. Net touch. Against Mepelink by the looks of it. This will be a much, much better view. The net touch was from Mepelink and her right hand. A good start. So key in this final set. Sorry, not sorry for Marky Slakova. That one has cannoned into the top of the net band. The whole crowd watch agonizing. Leah Zappel drops onto the Netherlands side. It's a great start, this 3 0. Teams race back to the chairs. Timeout. They need to sit down here. The Netherlands. And we see diverse mensen nog wat t-shirts uitdelen. We hier en daar in het stadion. Dus ik zou zeggen, doet u het lekker aan. Maak alles oranje. Good pass from Mepelink. Great side out, which means in turn it's a great timeout for the Netherlands. Fantastic serve. She's done well to get her arms on that, to be fair, Mepelink. Just flying across her left side. She gets a platform out, and then she loves hitting line. She loves hitting seam. And that's absolutely fine when you hit it as high and as hard as Madeleine Mepelink does. Another miss serve, and that's again something we saw so much of in 
the first set that this team lost. Missed serves galore. They cannot afford that anymore. They need to rein it in a bit here. Jump float serve again. Mepelink running that wide, but they're trying to serve it straight down the line to make it easier for the block defense. It means the block has to move less because she's already on the line when she gets set to the line as well. This time it's a cannon angle. The ball's through the center period and it's a little roll. Kaiser with an outrageous bit of defense. Then she goes to the line, but the set's a little wide. The body's over-rotated from Kaiser. She's frustrated. Mepelink's frustrated. Herman over and Slok over, flying here. Catch them if you can. The Netherlands, you've got all these people in this arena behind you. But you are falling far behind. It's a four-point game. It's a race to 15. Pass is good, but this is good serving. Fantastic serving. And that results in good blocking. They're looking for the decision here. Herman over says that she blocked the ball. And there was a net touch from Messerling. Let's have a look. There's a net touch from somebody, wasn't there? Couldn't quite tell on that first one. You have to watch possibly the bottom of the net on the way down. It looks as if somebody did. Was it, though, Mepelink? If it was, that's a big decision that's gone the way. The Netherlands so straight down the line. Late blocking again. They know that that's the kryptonite for Slakova. Give her the space. She will try and hit into the space. Then you take it away from her late. She thinks Mepelink's blocking the line, but then darts into the angle last minute. Pass is good. Slakova has to have a look. She goes high. It's another block defense masterclass. But Slakova does well to defend the hard hit. Now she's hitting from way downtown. It gives time for Mepelink to break the block, but they're scurrying here. Both teams working so hard. This point could be so crucial in the context of this, this game. And it's Slakova and Hermanova that go three to the good. Earlier on in this rally, Slakova Decision in the high line, glorious. But Slakova is struggling to see the block defense. They're moving so late. Sometimes she goes for the hard hit and it hits the late moving block of Mepelink. Now it's Mepelink to side out from the left side. Thud to the line all day long. And that's a fantastic set. It's fast, it's wide. So it means that Hermanova is under pressure to get out and seal the line. She's having to move sideways. It's hard to close the block. It's hard to get the line right in the block. She's not there, and Mepelink puts the ball down that channel. Lovely work from the Netherlands. Hermanova has a look at the ball. They're playing completely contrasting styles of games here. Marky Slakova is seeing everything. Full stretch from the Netherlands, but the ball isn't kept alive. This game has everything here. Both teams putting their bodies on the line. Coming over. Jump float, serve onto Mepling. Again, they're serving her down the line. It makes it so much easier for the block when they run the wide ball. But it also means that Mepling has to get her body out more to hit more angles. When she served inside, she loves running that wide play, hitting the seam, hitting the line. When she passes straight, she has to do more with her legs, with her feet to get her approach, looking directly across the court to hammer home. Great volleyball, this, from both teams. Both trying to outthink each other. Remember, the Netherlands are going so late in their block defense on Slakova. On use the call. Ball does go on there, and it's a great chip back to the line. Lovely stuff. Very nice from Hermanova. She loves hitting from the center of court, and she loves coming back to the line. They go late again, the touch team, but it's high enough to evade the block of Mepelink. Yes. 
again. They've changed up the serve completely. They've served Meppelink four or five in a row. Then you go to Kaiser and they catch her cold. Kaiser with the second chance. The outside, it's so tight to the net. And when the set is that tight for Meppelink, well, the game is easy for the blocker. You have to think the Netherlands run their whole game on making it hard for the block, running it wide. This one is too easy for Herman over. The crowd here are getting desperate. Wide set again. Should go to the line. She does go to the line. That's exactly the game they're trying to run. Herman over has to move across the sand so far that it's really hard to penetrate the net with her hands. She's drifting, and it means that she's very tallable. A tall is when you run the ball off the hands and the ball goes out on the opposition side of the net. Lovely stuff from the Netherlands. They're starting to run a game here. Still a long way back, though. The Nets look over, has a look. They go late again. It's a very good call from Herman over. Fist clench from Slakova. She just knows, she knows how important that is for her team. Look, they start in the middle. Looks like she might go to more of a spread block, actually, where she's trying to take the whole court, Meppelink. Try and get her right hand on one shoulder, left hand on the other, and take the whole court. Miss serve, though. Back to three. Remember, it's a race to 15. Just look over from the center again. Will they try and go really late on her? No, it's so, so tight from Herman over, and there's only going to be one winner in that contest, and that's Madeline Meppelink. It's again so tight to the net, the block comes right in the game. Slakova, no chance. Slakova from off the net again. This time it's a much better set. It's a great touch, so he has to come over now. Mepelink is dragging her team through here. That's not an easy play to make. Turning off the net having to hit on the spin, trying to track the ball coming from behind you is not easy. You can tell it's not easy because she finishes on the floor, but so does the ball. crowd can maybe sense the dramatic comeback here. Remember, they were one set to zero down. They've been three or four points down throughout the whole of this third set. Kaiser and Mepelink are starting to come very, very good here. set this time, trying to dominate the block. Fantastic play from Slokova. They're doing exactly what the Dutch do to them at times. They're making the block move across the net, and they're really challenging the block for its line and its timing. You can see Kaiser has to sit on a sharper angle there. She's still moving to the right. If you play the ball to, your, to her left, there's a high percentage that you will score all day. Great work from Slokova. She's got a good timeout at a very good time. Which way is this one going to go? From the center. Kaiser has a little rip on that one. Touches the block, but it's well read from Slakova. Second chance. This time, ripped back. It's accurate, it's fast, it's almost undefendable from Meppelink. She makes the reads look over, but it's too good from the Dutch. Oh, 
full stretch. Should be a point here. Mepelink brings things level for the first time in a very long time. Coming over with phenomenal reactions. But it's right into the path of Mepelink. Mepelink to serve again. Then she's going to run in. Just another thunderous serve from the Dutch blocker. And it's another error from Slakova, who fires wide. The crowd are on their feet here in the Hague. Some people can't watch. It's too much for them. The momentum here, surely, with Mepelink and Kaiser. The pressure on Slakova, who must be the service target again. No, they go on her maneuver. She loves coming through the middle here. She's been red, it's a drop of the shoulder. She gives it away too early, home and over. Kaiser sends the home crowd onto their feet yet again. Money-making material from the Dutch here. Here comes the boom, echoes around. And there's only one team booming. And that's the home nation. And from three, Points down four at times. They now find themselves two points at the good. Slakova, who's struggling to side out. Chips Kaiser almost oh, to it again. Change of ends at 13 12. The winners will go through to the gold medal match later on this evening against the Swiss. There's not long left in this one but there's still a long way to go. So straight down the line, Kaiser the service target again as Mepelinka side out so well. It's a wide ball, it's a wide set to test the blocker. Get Herman over, drifting in the block. It's a great knuckle shot to the line again. They love this wide ball, the Dutch. Slakova sits and parks on the sharp angle. If she can get over the block, there's a point there all day long. And it brings up match point for the Dutch. Some people can't bear the pressure in this stadium right now. First match point, and it's an ace. In emphatic fashion, Kaiser serves an absolute bullet from the baseline to ace the check bearing of Herman over and slick over right down the middle. And they have come back from the brink of defeat to steal this victory in three. They did not serve well throughout the first set, this Dutch team. But boy, oh boy, did Kaiser serve with some clutch at the end of that game. The Netherlands, they will be playing Hoobly and Brechart for a gold medal. They've both won a European Championship before. Not together, but both with Marlene van Erzel. And now they have a chance to win one together. Heartbreak for Hermanova and Slakova. They will play Lillian Elsa from Spain for bronze. They will not win their first European Championships this week in The Hague. There will be a home nation in this evening's final. Kaiser and Mepelink, they win it in three. From one set to kneel down. And also, they were three or four down throughout that final set. Let's have a look at some highlights of what was such an entertaining game.
dames en heren. Twee puntjes achter en dan op een gegeven moment terugkomen.